gonna wait to see if anyone's gonna come on. Do you think anyone's gonna come and watch us? Please go watch us. Hold on. No. Can you no. say hello? Hi guys. Um, I've got both of my boys with me here today. Um, I was hoping that Storm would go down for a nap, but he's teething, so he's attached to me. Um, Silas is going to give me a hand as well. Um, we're just going to do the hot cross bun mixture. Um, and then maybe later on, if I've got time, I'll come back and show you um, how to do the syrup and stuff once they're cooked. Um, but for now, I'm just going to show you the mixture. Um, wish me luck with both of these gremlins. What kind of hot Alright, um, so the first step is lemon zest, but I don't usually use the lemon zest, so we just skip ahead with that one. Um, Skip, skip, skip. So 250 grams of full cream milk. Um, so your scales just come up on the screen there if you haven't seen a family mix before. Um, and you can just pour your milk straight in. So 250 grams. Forty-seven's good. Next, um, one tablespoon of dried yeast. Where did the tablespoon go, buddy? Oh, over here. Um, so a cool little thing about Thermomix is it will um, heat and activate your yeast for you. So you don't have to kind of do this. I know some people do it. I think um, like by boiling the jug or something. Um, but this is all inbuilt in the Thermomix, which is cool. I'm gonna put the yeast in. Oh, thank you. So one tablespoon of yeast. No, 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 hold it. All right, you put the lid on. No. How can I put the top? Yeah, you can cut the butter, but we're gonna put the lid on now. Um, so that just heats up for three minutes um, at precisely 37 degrees. So that's the perfect temperature um, to heat and activate your yeast. So that's just three minutes. Um, I might just show you some hot cross buns that I've made One, two, before. Three, four. So these are some that I made before. Oh, I may need to go in the freezer now because they're not as fresh. But this is what we're doing. How good do they look? Um, so when I first made these, um, I don't, if you're following me, I don't know how you might have seen, but I posted them on my page and my husband called me and he said, did you make those? Did you make those hot cross buns? Couldn't believe. Because they look, they look like store-bought ones. Are you sure that you made them? Um, so I was pretty impressed by that. They look so good. They taste amazing. Like they're just like the store-bought ones, um, only tastier. Um, and without the all, all the added random ingredients. Um, so they're pretty amazing. So I was just cutting up the butter. He has an obsession with cutting up the butter into little bits. So I'm just going to watch him do that for two minutes. You've got it in your hand, eh? No, 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 no. Keep it in, keep it in the bowl. In the bowl, darling. Hey, Silas, we need to keep it in the bowl because we're going to use it for our hot cross buns. If you haven't noticed, I might have a two-year-old that doesn't like to listen. Loves to help, but doesn't like to listen. Um, so just uh, have some patience with me while I'm trying to wrangle him at the same time. Hi, Bree. <laughs> Do you have a two-year-old like this too, or is it just mine? Not 
Um, so I don't know if you can see there, so I've got my little timer just counting down. It tells you exactly when it's ready. So 16 seconds. That's just heated that up and activated our yeast. Um, nothing special to see, but that's what that's done. Um, it's saying add reserved graded zest, but no, no, not yet, not yet, darling, not yet. But we're not doing that. Um, so we're doing our flour now. You're gonna help me put the flour in? Yeah. So 500 grams of baker's flour. Um, this comes in big five kilo lots. Oh, we're gonna just we're just gonna put it in. No. All right, well you can spoon some in. This is gonna take us three years. All right, you spoon some in, and then we'll just pop the rest in, okay? <laughs> so we need five hundred grams of baker's flour. Um, I don't know how long that's gonna take with Silas spooning it in. Good job, buddy. All right, we're gonna tip some in now, okay? You wanna help mommy pick the bag up? Yeah. All right. Big, strong muscles. All right, hold on. All right, like this. All right, you help mum. Good job. We're a bit over, that's okay. Next, um, one pinch of salt. A little bit of salt? Yeah. Pop it in. Mm. Oh, there we go. Good job. And next, 70 grams of butter. So the butter that you've been so lovingly cutting, Silas, chuck it in. In it goes. Do you wanna just put the whole bowl in? Just put the bowl in, just tip it in. Slow and steady wins the race. Alright. Alright, 65 grams because Silas was playing with it and it's now all over my bench, but that's fine. As you can notice, like it doesn't matter if you know things are a little bit off. I'm not pedantic about things like that. Um it is accurate down to the one gram. Um, so it's gonna be super accurate no matter how you look at it. Caster sugar, so I don't even buy caster sugar anymore. I just use raw sugar. And help me put the sugar in, bud. Yeah, I spooned. Mm. You spoon it in. Yeah, spoon. Big is leaning on it, so it's stuffing up the scales. Um, that's okay. All right, step back because we need to look at the number. All right, we've got it. Yeah, 59, that's good, bud. Mm. Alright, press next for mummy. Yes, mummy. That's it. I'm gonna put the egg in. Yay! So one egg. One egg for there. Good job. Press next. See it. Okay, one and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon. Alright, mummy's gonna pour it and you can put it in, okay? One teaspoon. And a little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah. There you go. Two. Two. And 
half teaspoons of nutmeg. Look, it's not full. Oh, we're going to use the pink one. Press next to mummy. Good job. Half a teaspoon of cloves. That's not bad. So I actually ground up my cloves before. You know how you buy cloves whole? I just ground mine up earlier. Okay, half a teaspoon of cloves. Um, if you are jumping on, I'd love for you to say hi because it doesn't show me afterwards who's actually on. Um, so I'd love for you to comment and tell me what you think. Press next. Um, put the lid on. Yeah. All right. What? So it's not going to be loud. So that's just going to mix it up. Six seconds, speed seven. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Done. Yeah. This answer means done. This answer means done. Yeah. All right. We need to scrape down the sides. I didn't even find my spatula. Let's just mix it up. Still needs a bit of a scrape, so that's what it says there. Just to scrape it so Mum's turn first, and then your turn, okay? Mum's turn. Dad's turn. All right, you ready? Silas's turn. Ready? turn. Yeah. You scrape. Good job, thank you for helping. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're flicking it everywhere. All right, next. Um, 100 grams of sultanas. All right, you gonna pop these in? Yeah, oh, I'm gonna get spoon. Right, use this spoon. Ah uh, yeah, L. Everything's so dramatic with this kid. Honestly, it's so funny. One more. Oh, maybe one more. Alright, that's good, buddy. Press next for mum. Press next. Hey, okay, we're going to do the next one. You just press next. Press next. I'm not letting go of those sometimes. Good job. Now we're going to put this one in. Um, so, 70 grams of currants. So if you don't have currants, you've just got sultanas, that's fine. I just put sultanas in, um, but it is nice to have currants as well because they're smaller. Um, they're just a little bit different. Gives that um, different texture. Keep going, buddy.
All right, that's heaps. Good job, buddy. Can you press next for mummy? All right, pop the lid on. It's not going to be really loud. So this is just going to need it um, for two minutes. Um, so when you, it's not loud, it's okay. So when your thermomix is kneading, um, it shakes around a little bit, so you don't want to move away from it. You do want to stay by your thermomix when it's kneading. Um, it's the only time that you do need to just stay and watch your thermomix. Um, and that's it. So I've just got my thermo server here, um, thermo server bowl. So it's one of the insulated bowls um, that we have, which you can get if you hold a cooking experience. Um, and I've just put a little bit of boiling water in there to heat it up and then I've dried it out. Um, and that's going to prove my dough. So that's going to, even in Tassie when we've got a, um, you know, a colder day like today, um, that's a really handy thing to help you prove your dough. Um, there it is. How beautiful is that? Mmm, -mm. smells yum too. So you can just give your blade a little wiggle and it will just pop out. So that's pretty, pretty well clean in there. A couple little bits. Um, yeah, so that's it. I'm just going to leave that in there. Um, maybe half an hour, but maybe a little bit more, depending um, on how it goes, um, and see how long it takes to prove. Um, I rounded out a little bit, but that's fine. Um, you want it to be doubled in size. So I usually just preheat my oven and pop it on my oven as well, just for that extra warmth. Um, yeah, so then they go in the oven for, um, once it's proved, obviously, they'll go in the oven for... Um, I think about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, doesn't take long at all. Um, it's an oven that's 220 degrees, so super, super hot. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to pop my bowl on pre-clean, so I'll just quickly show you how I do that. Um, it just... So you just want to fill your bowl up so it's just over your blade with water, a little bit of water. Um, and a, like one drop of dishwashing liquid. Um, pop your lid on. And then go across to your inbuilt functions. And um, we've got pre-clean here. And then just pop it on dough. Um, so that's gonna get all the dough off the sides, get all the dough from under the um, blades and everything. Um, I don't think that'd be a good end of it. Um, and give it a nice clean. So after that, you really only need to wash it out. You might need to give it a quick 
um, scrub, but not usually. Um, it's usually just a quick rinse out and it's done. Awesome. So if I've got time later on, um, depending on how my teething baby is, um, I'll come back on and show you the finished product and show you how to do the glaze on top as well. Awesome. So if you're going to give these a go, um, I would love to see. I'd love for you to tag me, um, show me what you're cooking, um, and yeah, let me know how you go. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.